Welcome to the video and welcome to Monday. So I ran to a shop which is about six and a half kilometers away and bought this bike that I'm cycling home on. So now I've got a bike and I got my run in. A little bit less than I would have wanted to have done running wise, but you know, like I got to cycle back as well and got this new bike. Hello and welcome to another video. So we've made it here to a running track near where I live. It's about three kilometers. I thought today, well, I'll come and do a session over here. I'm rocking the uh, Hoka Oni Oni carbon rocket. So they've got a carbon plate in it and it's like a one millimeter drop. I've actually had these for about five months, but because of injury and not doing any speed work, I've just never worn them. So I thought, why not? Now I'm feeling better and I've got a speed kind of session today. Let's try them out, have a little bit of fun, and uh, see what they're all about. Hope you're doing well as well, everyone. Hard work, I can tell you that much. This side's a real bad headwind. The other side's obviously a tailwind. There we go. So 10 by 20 seconds, kind of fast, hard, uh, with practicing good form. That's really important at the moment, you know, making sure I've got the correct form, good high turnover in the legs, not overstriding too much. As you can see, probably some of the footage. And to be honest, even when we get to the point where I'm happy and satisfied, there's always gonna be something else. And I think that's really important. Never get too focused, oh, when I'm gonna be this, this is gonna happen. Just focus on doing stuff constantly because there never is an end goal. And uh, that shouldn't be overwhelming. It should be uh, reassuring for you because uh, you constantly want to improve and constantly will have something to work on. Oh yeah, and how did the carbon plated shoes do? Well, first of all, we probably have to look in the statistics, but second of all, I don't know, I didn't really feel too much of a difference, to be honest, whilst I'm running in them. It's not like uh, uncomfortable, but it's not, you know, super comfy or, I don't know. I, I couldn't necessarily feel the difference, but I'm sure there is some difference. I mean, the, the shoes are comfy. That's what's the most important thing. So I'm really happy with it. So nice to be outside. I'm very lucky to do this. And the great thing is as well, social distancing wise, there's nobody out, no one around. And well, you know, that's the perfect situation in a way. So as I said, I'll just go over a few of the details and statistics from the run, as I always do. But um, this run in specific is quite good because obviously we had those carbon plated shoes and some intervals. So if you haven't already followed me on Strava, then follow me, why not? You can see all my training there. I like to put pictures up on it as well. Uh, that's my creative side coming out. Anyway, so here we go, let's go down to my, and my training log is always open. It's uh, free, <laughs> of course it's free, but you can go and I'll leave it open, it's not private. Here we go, so easy run with 10 by 20 seconds kind of strides, accelerations, one minute recovery, and then one 400 meter uh, effort on the track. Some good paces, around 240, and it's not just about the pace, but the cadence, some quick high turnover, you know, over 210 steps per minute, something like that. And then, as you can see with the 400 meter effort, I kind of wanted to do something which was a little bit more sustained. Uh, so, quick.
quick high turnover with a really killer uh, back straight, back stretch headwind. But yeah, just wanted to give you a really quick insight to uh, the training day. And here we are Thursday. So today, just a nice easy, roughly 10 kilometers, but we'll spend some time on the trials. Today I've dusted off the uh, Hoka One One Evo Speed Goats. Last time I wore them was at my Ultra, at Ultra Pyrenew. If you haven't checked that race video out, links down below. That was 94 kilometers of 6,200 meters of vertical gain. And oh boy, it was a challenge, a journey. Exciting, beautiful, painful, hard. So the great thing for me, and I'm very grateful and lucky is that I've got these trails literally under a kilometer from my house we've got this forest now it's only a small forest I think perimeter around it probably three kilometers or something but I mean look pretty cool pretty lucky to have this on my doorstep and I've made my own little loop in the forest here so it's quite technical quite a lot of roots as you'll probably see in the video they're all over the place lots of rocks lots of little unindul undulating little climbs and uh, fresh air beauty nature So you might be wondering, why do you just run little loops of something? No particular order. I just enjoy being on the trails. And this, as I said, is so close to me that if I can just spend more time on the trails rather than running to the trails, then I can do that and just practice running on this one trail. As you may know already, I work at Saunter, who makes sports watches, and as you can see, I'm wearing quite a lot of sports watches. The reason is I'm testing them. So normally every Thursday at Sonda we have a field test day and we all go out run together and test the watches for various different things. So it could be heart rate, it could be GNSS, it could be features. There's many different things to test. And I mean testing isn't limited to those days but we get together as a group and as a team and that's really nice obviously in this coronavirus time we're practicing social distancing and that's including for testing another reason why it can actually be useful to your training you start to memorize where your feet go where the roots are where you can push where you have to hold back a little bit and uh, that gives you really good it can really help your coordination for running on the trails and even more so help your confidence that you become more comfortable running on an uneven surface that could be slippy roots of a tree rocks sticking out or tight turns or whatever but you become more comfortable with it because the more you do a loop obviously the more you memorize it and come to learn it so there's a good few reasons why i would run a loop on the trails uh, i just started raining there's something so magical and wonderful, I love it when I'm running and it rains. It's so refreshing and calming and soothing. The hills always get to you, no matter how steep or short, they always catch up on you. Well, 
what a wonderful run that was. So we did 10.5 kilometers, average pace around 6.30. So on the trails, eight loops or nine loops of that trail loop I did. You can see all the details down in the Strava down below uh, if you want to. Get nice and easy, average high rate of 135 beats per minute. Thank you very much for watching the video, really do appreciate it. Any comments or questions, as always, you can drop them down below. More than welcome to get back to them. And hope you're all doing well and managing to stay active during this, uh, this period of time, which is a little bit tricky for all of us, depending where we are. And uh, yeah, just be happy, enjoy yourself, and uh, never forget to start pushing your limits so you can start learning something new. You can start reading about running. You can start doing some different types of running on a treadmill if you've got access to that in your house or something, or if it's just going up and down your stairs or whatever it is. Not really that much more to say. It was an excellent run. I enjoy running. I'm sure the reason why you're watching this, still watching this right now, is because you like running as well and love running as well. So let's get into the next day. So it's Saturday and we've come out for a run. Nice and easy, 10K. Anyway, we'll get into what the session is towards the end. But, oh boy, I got the biggest kind of cramps in my stomach. Like a stitch. What's that in your language? But uh, yeah, I got a massive stitch in the stomach. And uh, today, is the best but worst run. Let me explain that for you just a moment. So the stitch is one of those things that just comes up and creeps on you. So let me know down below, how do you get rid of your stitch when you're running? My theory is just ease off the pace a little bit. Look, it's not gonna last forever. So ease off the pace a bit and focus on your breathing. Deep breaths through the stomach the best thing I've heard why a stitch comes is the cramping of your diaphragm, which is the thing that, you know, helps you breathe. So taking some deep breaths, getting some movement into that muscle, which the diaphragm is, and then hopefully it should go away and you can continue full speed ahead. But as I said, I'm interested to know what you do as well. did six accelerations and I followed my own advice with the breathing before and the stitch is gone so I managed to do what I wanted to do. Let's get into the details in a moment when the run's finished because we've still got some easy running to do to get home. My gosh, what a schoolboy error. So I'm on my run, I took like a loop, you'll see the map here, and uh, I've took a, a left, and then I've decided to stop uh, and put the camera down and record some of the strides that I was doing. And uh, so with, when you put the camera down, you run past, and then you run back to pick it up. And what I've done is I've just picked the camera up and carried on running that way. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on running. So why did I say today is the best type of worst run? Well, first of all, I'm just grateful to be outdoors, be running as well. So I'm very happy and that's what's the best thing. Anytime I'm running, that's a good thing. That's the best thing. 
yeah that's awesome mark yeah super awesome and uh why is it the worst thing well at the moment because of this covid19 coronavirus stuff a lot of people are outdoors that's great but do, does everyone respect the kind of six feet two meters of distance i don't think so and uh some of the trails and paths are quite overcrowded and it's quite difficult to try and keep that distance maybe you just noticed here i'm actually going straight along there but there was a cyclist and this woman walking so i decided to just take like a little bit of a detour it's of no problem to me anyway so why is it the worst because i've decided to come and run on this stuff asphalt uh, i'm not a big fan of running on hard asphalt says the person who just ran a marathon or did a marathon on a balcony which is concrete but that was a different scenario and reason to ignite and inspire people and make people laugh a little bit done really good uh, I did a nice and easy 12.5 kilometers with six by 20 second strides one minute recovery and felt quite good throughout it obviously getting lost was a little bit of amusement to me and uh, roughly 143 beats per minute so I started off maybe a little bit quicker and maybe a heart rate was elevated a little bit but I actually felt good and comfortable doing it so I was perfectly fine with that. Gonna have to make sure I do some good stretching after this run because I can feel the muscles already tightening up a little bit. I think that's due to doing like a 25 kilometer bike ride yesterday or one and a half hours followed by early morning, well, kind of just before lunchtime run and uh, the accumulation of it. So gonna make sure I treat my body well stretch foam roll do all that good stuff keep active and moving throughout the day not go and just sit down in a chair and just completely relax like this meme here which i find pretty funny hey if you want to check it out my all the links are down below for strava follow me instagram if you want as well and i've actually just set up a facebook page so you can go ahead join in there and i don't know what we're going to do with it i'm going to be like more that we can discuss and interact with one another have a bit more chat in that way it's a little bit easier i think but we'll see how that evolves look forward to that but uh let's catch you in a bit that's right sunday's upon us it's a nice easy run today but isn't it amazing like i'm really not uh inspired to go out today i think uh i'm just thought my body's a little bit tired i've got a little bit of lace bite on my left ankle from tying my shoes too tightly when i went cycling the other day not the most inspired to get out there and go running however i'm gonna go out and just uh waken up the body and i can always turn around if i really don't feel it but go out run for a few kilometers and more often than not you start picking up and you get the feeling and you're feeling good start running i guess ah, ah. you're playing your cards with your queen of hearts when everyone folds your forge to holds you're placing your bed showing no regret so as I said, three and a half kilometers in, and I'm feeling pretty good actually. Yeah, sure, the body's not as loose and race ready, let's say, as you know, a fresh body is, but I'm feeling good, I'm enjoying it. And the most important thing is, I'm not doing this when I'm injured or anything. It's just if I'm a little bit tired. And today is just an easy run anyway. Got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, and as I said, that it's uh, beautiful weather out here in the park. And actually, it's quite good because 
Oh, there's not so many people today. I don't know why. Maybe everyone got it out of their system yesterday. Said, yeah, it's such beautiful weather. Let's get outside and do some ex exercise outside. And today, maybe the exercise is wearing thin on people because I know that's been quite the case around the world that people haven't had any much to do. So they've actually invested into their own health. And that's a really good thing to come from all of this, actually, that people maybe have come a little bit more health conscious. And um, if we think with the coronavirus, the risk group, uh, people who obviously have some kind of issues or haven't got c complete control over their diet and such. Uh, obviously, old age, I don't think there's much you can do about that unless you've uh, come up with a good plan to make a tele teleporter, then let me know down in the comments down below. I'm sure the World Health Organization will be pleased to know about it so I can inform them because they look at my channel quite regularly. But uh, yeah, so people have probably taken a lot more um, well, I would hope people would take a little bit more notice of their health from this. It's a nice little wake up call. So there are good things to come from things like this. And um, anyway, that's another whole topic for a different video. This is one's about my running, but it's also about helping you guys. So anybody who is uh, maybe struggling with their diet or anything, you can ask any questions down below. I'm more than happy to help. There's also uh, some other, you know, Instagram, there's an email. You can drop a question by that if you don't want to do it publicly. And uh, yeah, I'm always here for you. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. What a wonderful day, what a wonderful run. And you know, we had those struggles at the start and well, they disappeared and I enjoyed the run towards the end. The beginning bit was a little bit tough, I'm not gonna lie. But we did 12 kilometers, all the details here, 548. So when I see the pace here and compared to what I put up here, it's because the pace here also takes out all the stopping. Average heart rate of 126 beats per minute, so that was good. I kept it nice and easy which was really nice and what exactly what was ordered sun shining now we've got the rest of the day ahead of us we're gonna kick start that recovery with a smoothie why not that's what we do that's what we're about but that's about it for this week's video thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it if you're not subscribed already and you've made it to this point please hit the subscribe button it clearly means that you've enjoyed what you've been watching and it really does help me out a lot if you're subscribed already I love you guys. Take care.